Hello. Hi. I just want to document that today I'm very happy, which is a little bit of a rare occasion in my life at this current point. I'm going to clean my face. I just came from the art museum. It's quite hot, but I was not in the art museum itself. I was in the park of the art museum having a little picnic. I just decided to go. I knew I wanted to go somewhere. I initially wanted to go somewhere where there's water. I really need to see water. I feel like it calms me down. But I just decided to go to the art museum and just closer and I don't know, I just decided to go there and it was so nice. I sat down under the beech tree or birch tree in Russian it's called Biroza and I sat down there and I had my picnic I had leftovers from tomorrow oh, tomorrow's yesterday's tacos that we made so I made like a taco bowl and it was so nice <laughs> I feel just so happy and relieved that I did that and my husband left for his work today Sunday and he's not coming back until Saturday <laughs> cool so um no but I felt a little bit lonely which I practically never feel lonely but it was a little bit sad but I went to a store got kombucha and had my little picnic I journaled, I read a book and now I'm back home, I'm going to watch a movie do something creative, tidy up the home watch a bunch of like YouTube videos that I wanted to watch and just prepare for tomorrow I am at home, I got kiwis and apricots, I also got carrots, kale, avocados because I do care about my microbes and I am trying to eat 30 a week. Today's Tuesday and I am already on 24 which is honestly great, I did not expect that from me but I kind of also knew that um, I'll be good with that so but I decided to eat new things kiwis, I haven't eaten kiwis in so long, apricots, it's a summer must have and right now I'm about to eat like tacos slash taco balls just want to document another moment where i'm happy i shouldn't be that happy i just had a very hard lesson and i look i need to wash my hair that's why i look so crazy and it's hot but there was a russian mom in target and she was kind of cold and kind of aggressive with her kid and it just reminded me to be nice to myself and to be nice to others and the kid went like, oh, thank you, mommy, for buying me this car. She ignored him. And I was like, oh my God, is it so hard to say like, oh, no worries. Like, I love you. You're welcome. And she was also saying like, don't waste my time. Just choose one car. And I was like, oh my God. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> just a reminder to be nice to yourself and to others. And yeah, I just started feeling so like happy that I acknowledge those things and just love yourself, honestly, just be nice to yourself. at the art museum to eat my celebratory meal because I passed three or two post licensing which I did not expect and I'm so happy about it I look very tired because I barely slept I mean actually I slept well 
but I went to bed late. I had to get up early. I'm in the art museum and it's so loud. I think there's like some sort of a camp event. I'm surrounded by butterflies and birds and bees and yeah, just want to enjoy my day and just breathe in, breathe out and I don't know, a lot has been happening, but I'm trying to be positive and just go with the flow, so. That's my meal, spicy falafel panini from Jasmine and Olive. And this drink I got, oops, this drink I got, it's quite good. Life is really so unpredictable, that's why I believe life is really a game, like your next move, your thought, the words you say can define, you know, your next, I don't know, it can be a year, a week, a day, it's just so interesting, it's just so interesting, I really feel like a game character, it's just so interesting and weird because I feel like I'm still battling the feeling of being stressed and having this fear. I told my mom, I feel like me and my sister were born with stress inside of us because our mom is just so like stressed, always scared, always like stressing about the things that did not even happen yet. And I don't think it's healthy and I'm pretty sure it influenced me and my sister. And so I'm trying to unlearn those things, which is a process, obviously. But at the same time, for the past week, the craziest things have been happening. And I feel like I'm able to compose myself and say, you know what? I trust the process and I trust the universe. And I think everything will be okay. Regardless of any hardships and obstacles, like I still think everything will be okay. That's why life feels like a game because so many things change so fast and you like a character who unlocks new skills and new perspectives, new doors, gets new keys, so that's very interesting. Kind of hope it will rain. I never was a fan of rain until I moved here. In Belgium, I never really liked the rain because the rain there is just so small, the drops are so tiny. But here is so mighty and powerful, I really enjoy the rain now. Hello, I forgot to tell you what day it is. Today is Friday. I'm kind of recharging, going to Mr. Mikey's books and then to the library. It's very hot and I'm dressed not for hot weather, but that's okay. It's very hot outside. I did not get anything at I did not get anything at Mr. Mike's. There were a few books, but I was like, I don't need them. I have enough culture books and I seen Alice Hoffman Lessons in Magic but I was like I did not even read the first book so unless I read the first one I don't need anything else but then I went to the library and I wanted to get this book because I need to finish it and then I was planning to get two other books but then I seen this one it's a poetry book and I was really intrigued by it so I got this one instead and then when I, uh, then when I was looking for the third book that I needed to get to finish reading. I actually sent this book that I also need to finish reading. So I was like, okay, I'll just get that. And then I left because I don't want to feel overwhelmed. And then the most exciting part, I printed something out. I found out about the fact that you can print at the libraries. And this is so fun. I printed in color. This is for my like fashion, inspo, fashion, design book that I'm making because I really want to come back to my senses, to my style. And so I printed some things for like my vision board. This is small me. This image really inspires me to keep going for my small little me. So I printed some photos of like good memories that I have, things that inspire me and um, just, yeah, things for vision board. And this is another one for for my like fashion and spoke. This looks so cool and the quality is so nice. It was for dollars, but that's okay. Um, a little bit 
more than I expected. But, oh my God, look. Look at that, those stars and yeah, I just printed out the things that inspire me fashion-wise that I love, that I want to incorporate. And basically, if I were a designer, you know, what kind of things would I be making? So I really want to create like a mood board for my collection because I learned how to sew and this literally unlocked so many things in me. And I think now I'm unstoppable with the fact that I can crochet, embroider, hand sew, and also I'm learning how to knit. I'm just, I can do whatever. Okay, it's been a little bit of a mess here, but I'm going to show you a spread that I just made. I made a few spreads, but this is one of my favorite spreads. Some text has to go here, some commentary, but this is just like a little spread on like my feeling of my personal style, how I would want to dress the pieces I would want to have, the fabrics and materials, and just the overall like vibe, I would say, and the feelings. I always love the combination of feminine and masculine. It's like here, biker boots with this uh, dress with chain, but with crystals, and it makes it like so sexy and feminine, yet badass. So, yeah, I don't know. It's very simple, but I really enjoyed this spread. I was rearranging the images and I wanted to do something interesting with the background. So I just drew these lines. <laughs> it's nothing interesting, really, but I'm kind of happy that there is a difference. I do like just a bare background as well. But yeah, I'm just so happy with the spread. I think like it's just such a good representation of my inner feeling uh, of me and which direction I want to go and I don't know those things really give me like goosebumps a coif and just crochet and this plant and biker boots and crystals like it just so me I'm just so happy I did a few other spreads but I'm not going to show you maybe one day once this book is complete I will do a flip through I didn't tell you where I am. I am. I slept bad also. <laughs> I am in this park. It's journaling in nature and it's quite exciting. I came late. It took me some time to find this place, but it is so nice in here. I've never been here. It's my first time. They give us binoculars and art media. So I'm just like sitting here writing. No poetry comes to me, but it's just so nice. I'm so happy and I'm glad I came because I got frustrated at myself because I came late, I was late and it was my own fault and I couldn't find anyone. But then I finally found people who were here for this workshop and there was a great relief for me. But it's just like so nice in here. at my interview and I'm waiting here for my husband and I think I just seen another candidate coming and uh, for the interview because you know I'm hanging out uh, I'm hanging around here a little bit longer because I'm waiting for my husband to pick me up and uh, I seen this another candidate and 
I don't know. I, I still feel fine because I feel like whatever's mine comes to me easily and the interview went well, but we'll see. I'm thankful regardless. It was nice to speak to new people and their perspective. So I don't know. I just, I, I feel happy and grateful regardless. <laughs> Do you like the handmade playground <laughs> from the Chewy box? Okay, uh, they don't like playing with that for some reason. They just like a box, but God forbid there is a hole in the box. Mm -mm. Immediate no. Uh, and of course, to the Joe bags, that's, that's a hit. Anyways, I went to the Prairie Pond Park and I basically cried there. I was by myself and yeah, I did not have great time. And I recorded a bunch of videos, but then I asked myself, Julie, is this how you want to remember, you know, this day? And this is how you want to look back? And the thing is, no, because I really want to record the videos that I want to remember. I feel better. I'm still a little bit like demotivated because I got rejection letter yesterday and I got rejection letter today. And today they told me that I don't have right skills. The job was for part-time uh, front desk um, job, basically $15 an hour. All they ask is, except obviously like basic things like knowing Excel, Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. They also ask that you are 18 years old and older and that you have high school degree. Hello. <laughs> I have bachelor's degree and uh, having experience in recreation is a plus. I do not have experience in recreation, but I did work in, uh, I would say tourist industry in a way, in a place that really catered to tourists. So I think I would have been able to learn very quickly. And they told me I don't have right skills. I was really shocked because reading that at 8 a.m. in the morning is not productive. So I emailed them back asking, could you provide me more feedback because I really would want to improve my resume and my skill set. And the, the person just emailed back saying, we just hired someone else. So I wasn't even worthy of talking to you in the interview. That just seemed like very sketchy because I am clearly qualified and possibly overqualified. But then if someone is overqualified, you just don't tell them like, hey, you don't have enough skills because this is not true. Anyways, yeah, that really messed up with my day and just, frankly, I don't feel like I got a job that I interviewed for yesterday, which will be a very upsetting, but it is what it is. I have to remind myself that it all will be okay, but at this point, I am collectively have been looking for a job for 10 months. I had my breaks and I had a breaks for studying real estate, so I'm actively looking for a job since 2022 and I did have a job last year. And also I kind of got mad at myself for getting fired, although without getting like any details, you can go watch the video where I talk about getting fired, but I know it's not my fault and other people can confirm it's not my fault. And I feel so powerless, but also, you know, I'm not going to hide the fact that I worked there because I learned some skills there. At the same time, I was there just for four months and it was first time ever that I got fired in my entire life. I've never been in a position like that, you know? I've never been in a team like that. I never worked with a manager and the owner of a place like that. So all of it was new and I mean, I don't have to explain those things, but I mistook they, oh, we are family. We're all best friends for being able to communicate openly about the issues that the team had and I got burned my issue I, I really deeply care about that place but it is what it is I really got so mad at myself because I'm like I don't know what they will say and I'm pretty sure that a child would not want to hear my side of the story and unfortunately that person created such a reputation that 
they are beloved member of this community and I don't have that. I'm just an immigrant who <laughs> arrived here with, you know, nothing basically. I don't have support here except like my husband. I don't have many friends. I don't have American education. But at the same time, I don't want to feel pity for myself. I'm resilient and I'm strong. I'm just so tired and I'm exhausted. But at the same time, I cannot give up and... <laughs> It was so crazy to cry there at the pond, but I do feel slightly better. I need to keep going. I can't give up. No matter the outcome of yesterday's interview, I will keep going and it is freaking tough. Especially hearing that someone says, oh, you are not qualified for this job. I heard the phrase, uh, rejection is protection, I think. And I need to remind myself about it because reflecting back at the jobs that I didn't get in the past, I think I was definitely a protection. And in the past six months, I worked so much on myself. I work still, obviously, I'm working on being more positive and shining the light and working for my emotions because for a very long time, I did not allow myself to express certain emotions and I think it just harbored the anger and frustration and also the fact that I was comparing myself to others who were born here who lived here their whole entire life did not work in my favor so once I worked through that I realized I live my own life I do not need to compare myself I'm literally just three years old in terms of my American life I moved here in 2021 so literally a baby making small baby steps towards better life it will eventually be okay because I have my husband who supports me and I do believe in myself despite the fact that I have moments of weakness. Today was a moment of weakness. I think it's okay to feel angry, frustrated, but I also realize that being angry and frustrated and upset does not serve anyone. It just demotivates me even more and it's not productive. So we cried at the pond, we went to the store, now I'm making tacos and or like fajitas. I, I'm still deciding what exactly I want to make. I will eat and I will be productive and... I don't know. I think eventually I will be fine. Whoever doesn't hire me, that's they loss. But I know what I want. I will be looking for that. And just staying positive. There is no other option. Because being angry and frustrated just doesn't work. Did not work. And nobody can break me down. Like for real, nobody can break me down. Nobody can break me down. That's it.